<sighs> Do you guys know that there's three R12 receivers out there? Not sure most of you really know that. So there's three different configurations for an R12 receiver. So I thought we might go over that today and I would kind of explain to you how and what the pricing is on an R12 receiver, all three versions. So first things first. Okay, so there's an R12 Lite, an R12, and an R12i. So let me explain to you what the differences are between the three, okay? So let's look at an R12 in the middle, just an R12, right? So an R12, the R12 receiver with a, and I'm looking at a price list over here, the R12 receiver with a radio is six thousand five hundred dollars you're like robert no that's wrong actually no that's right because what trimble has done it's kind of like i don't know if you guys are familiar with the r8s but they've done the same thing with the r8s so the r8s is scalable the r12 is pretty much scalable maybe they should have put a r12 si on it i'm not sure but anyways um what it is is you have the the typical r12 um, has all the same features as an R10, right? As far as the tilt goes. There's a module in here that um, has the, the magnetic compass, the accelerometer. I think there's like three different pieces. Plus there's an X, X fill. So those three um, things are in the R12. So when you buy a fully unloaded R12, that's what you're getting. You're getting that tilt that's in the R10, plus you're getting all the goodies in an R12. So let's um, let's examine that for a second. So we know that the magnetic compass in the R12 doesn't work all that great, but the X fill is phenomenal. So I've, I did a video. Matter of fact, it was like the very first video I did on this channel, and. Um, it didn't get a whole lot of views, but basically what Xfil does, Xfil replaces your radio. So let's say that you are uh, you're working, you drop down in a box culvert, and you're running base rover radio, and you lose radio connection. Xfil kicks in as long as you got a good full view of the satellites of the sky, and you're still in fixed position. Xfil is going to kick in. You're going to see this little clock show up if you've got it turned on behind your radio. When that clock comes on, that means for five minutes you're survey grade, okay? So it's not helping you in the woods or anything like that, right? It's not replacing satellites. What it's doing is replacing the radio. So you drop down, you lose radio signal for five minutes, you're still survey grade. After that five minutes, the uh, precision of the solution starts to degrade all the way through that five minutes. So anytime you pick up radio signal, that clock starts all over again, right? So that's what you're getting with the R, a standard R12, is you're getting those features, okay? So the kicker is, is when you order an R12, if somebody calls me up and says, hey, Robert, I want a quote for an R12, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put them a quote together. It's gonna be that $6,500 that I was talking about for the R12, because I would never sell you one without a radio in it, to me, that's insane. Um, because there is one without a radio, and it's six thousand dollars. So for five hundred dollars, you save. Oh wait a minute! If you don't get a radio, you save five hundred. It may cost you twenty five hundred dollars to put that radio back in there, but on the front end, you can save five hundred dollars. Makes zero sense to me. Okay, so. Anyways, if we move over and we look, okay, so I'm looking at two different, and I can't show you this price list. Um, so, but I will tell you that there are two different features in here, right? So you have an R12 configuration level light basin rover, which gets rid of the module I was just talking about. That module that controls your tilt and the X fill, if you get rid of that module and you just go with the light, 
that's an additional $17,990. So, since I am not a math wizard, how about we go 6,500 plus $17,990 will get you $24,500. So that puts you about at the price range of what the R10 was. Somewhere there. I think the R10 was $25,500. So for $25.5 plus $95 for the cable that you need, the power cable, um, which that's a whole nother story in itself. But anyways, for the power cable is another $95. So for $25.6, you're getting uh, an R12, which has ProPoint. All the goodies as far as getting into the woods, a two watt radio, the big thing that I like is the place to put the um, SIM card, all that works. The only thing you're missing is that module, okay? So for $25,000 roundabout, right? For $25,000, you're getting the all the cool features that come in the R12. And I don't think I need to tell you guys how phenomenal these R12s are. Trimble is expensive be the first one to admit, but I'm of the old adage, you get what you pay for. I started using Trumbull a long time ago, and I've always stuck with it because uh, I like the durability of the equipment. I like the way it holds up. I like the warranties. There's just a lot of things that drew me to Trumbull back in the day. But anyways, um, so 25.5 gets you an R12 with ProPoint, okay? Now think about that for a second because you could use this as a base station if you wanted to. So if you wanted to buy an R12i, but you didn't want to spend the money for two R12i's, then get an R12 Lite, use that as the base. You can still use it as a rover. There's no reason you can't. It just doesn't have the tilt. It doesn't have the X-fill, but that doesn't mean that you can't still go out there in the, underneath a big old oak tree and get a shot, right? So, okay. So that is the R12 light. I kind of explained the R12, right? So let's look at the price of an R12. You still have, okay, you still have that $6,000 I was talking about. Or I'm sorry, $6,500. Let me clear that out. $6,500 plus. And then if you go with a traditional R12, it's $20,000. $500. That's $27,000. So you went from basically $25,000 to $27,000, almost $2,500, because you, remember you got to add that cable at $95. So um, you're almost at $2,500 difference between an R12 and an R12 Lite. So, like I said, the R12. Standard R12, you're going to pick up that module, right? That's got the X-Fill in it, which is pretty valuable in my mind. The tilt that's in here, the compensated point, not crazy about. Like in the other video, I told you that's been out for 12 years. So, uh, 12 years, 8 years. It was 2012 is when they came out with it. It's been out for 8 years. So, uh, that's been out a long time. So, the new IMU in the R12i... Um, is all brand new. So let's let's look at this, okay? So we're at $27,100, right? For a traditional R12 receiver. So 25-ish for a R12 Lite, 27 for a standard R12. Okay, so now then, let's look at the R12i, okay? So let's see if I can jump into the R12i and we're gonna look at some pricing on it. So, and my internet is super slow and there it goes, it's working. Okay, so remember that $6,000 I just told you about for the R12? So you have $6,000 for the receiver, then you have whichever way you wanna go, light or standard R12, okay? So with the R12i, kind of the same scenario is going on, right? So you have that $6,000, $6,500 receiver with the radio, $6,500 receiver for an R12i is actually $8,000. So that same thing is eight grand. 
and then you jump up to the R12i configuration, that gets you at $20,500. I, mean, I don't need the calculator to do the math on that. That's $28,500. So $28,500 is the list price on an R12i. Same thing, we have you know, we have a um, one with the radio and without, 8,000 versus 7,500. To me, it's a no-brainer, right? You go with the radio in case something happens. So, the you know, one of the other things I didn't mention is they also, um, to, I guess to try to keep the price down on the receivers, there is a NEMA output. So if you're using a high pack or uh, maybe you're trying to go to a GPR or something like that, keep that in mind that that is an additional $250 option that you have to have in these receivers to output a NEMA string to something. Not many people do it, only a handful. Uh, usually it's research people or maybe hydro people that are doing it, but uh, keep that in mind, okay? So um, another thing I wanted to bring to your attention that I think is super, super cool is that, let's see if I can find it. Um, so I think this is it right here. Trimble protected premium for the receiver. So at time of purchase, you can buy a warranty on these things that is good for five years. So for five years, it keeps your hardware, your firmware, everything up to date. And it's like an accident forgiveness warranty. And maybe we'll kind of discuss this a little bit later on. But that's an additional $3,000 on this receiver. If you wanted to protect this receiver, accidental forgiveness, you dunk it in the water or, you know, whatever, tear up the faceplate on it or break the radio antenna or something like that, it covers accidents. So things that happen to the receiver outside of manufacturer defect. A typical warranty covers manufacturer defect. Now, these warranties that Trimble's got, this new program they're running, uh, also applies to like to the data collectors. So like a TSC7, if you broke the screen on it, you could get the screen fixed under the warranty. So typically with the uh, warranty that Trimble has, um, it's a manufacturer defect like your TV or, you know, I would say VCR, but I don't want you guys to think I'm that old. But, um, you know, anything like that's, that can break um, under manufacturer defect, radio quits transmitting, um, this panel goes out. Those are all manufacturer defects. You smacking this thing against the ground and breaking the antenna or, you know, I've seen guys actually hit the ground so hard that it didn't damage a receiver typically, but it would crack this piece right here because it would, because of the impact. So, um, and I have seen guys with Gorilla Grips over tighten this piece right here, which um, that your antenna screws into the board. So if you over tighten that antenna, you can literally strip that right out of the board. And then you're like, why can't I get radio reception? Well, because you gorilla gripped the antenna and you screwed it up. So um, I wanted to kind of get this out because we're actually running a promotion on the, um, on the R12 lights. And, it, it, and my boss came to me and said, hey, you know, what, what kind of promotion could we run here at the last quarter that would be interesting? And my thought was being a surveyor, was that being able to purchase an R12 light and use it as a base or rover if I needed it would save me some money um, and and um, get me closer to getting maybe an R12 light base and an R12i rover. Uh, it's a thought, right? Anyways, I thought I'd bring this guys, bring this guys. I thought I would bring this to you guys this morning. I need some more coffee. Whew, man, it's it's early. And did I mention I broke my light? <laughs> Anyways, um, I thought I'd bring this to you guys. Um, just a little bit of information I thought might be handy um, to kind of go through the different configurations of the R12 so you guys can kind of understand what's going on with it. Um, some of this stuff can be really confusing and sometimes these sales guys aren't really good about explaining the differences and you don't have time to do the research. So um, that's supposed to be what I do for you. So anyways, um, guys, I hope you appreciate this video. Hope this gains a little bit more knowledge for you, makes you a little smarter this afternoon. Um, so as always, like and subscribe. We're kicking it. We're 4,200 subscribers. Things are looking good. Got the Alabama conference next week. Um, 
I got to try to put some propaganda out for that. Anyways, like and subscribe. Um, as always, God bless. Uh, I really, really appreciate you guys watching this channel and supporting it. And um, like I said, God bless. And I guess I'll see you guys on the next one.